and welcome back to Forza Horizon 4. Welcome back to the channel. I hope you're well. Today we are jumping into update 18 and the summer season. We're going to be completing this week's Forza Fun Challenges, Carte Blanche, and I hope I have pronounced that correctly. We're going to grab the all-important 200 Forza Fun points if you own Lake Lodge. If not, it's just 100 Forza Fun points for you and grab that much needed percentage towards the summer season and the festival playlist. So if you are new around here, definitely consider subscribing and let's crack on with Carte Blanche. Well, let's jump straight in. Let's waste no time at getting this done. Chapter one, right of way, own and drive any off-road vehicle. Head on over to your garage and filter by off-road. You will find an absolute selection of off-road cars to choose from. The Forza Ton Editions will not work so please don't choose those i have tuned and upgraded a bunch of these cars i'll put a list of the ones i've done in the description below just search my gamer tag skippy4631 or the file name skippy youtube to get chapter one done i'm just going to go with the mercedes-benz g63 amg 6x6 once you have chosen an off-road vehicle you like hop outside your festival house or castle drive two seconds down the road and right of way completed. You could also have your car delivered to you if you're out and about in the free open world. It also works in the same way. With chapter one, right of way, own and drive any off-road vehicle completed, it's on to chapter two, make your own road. Do what your off-road vehicle does best and win three cross-country series events in it. Head on over to your map and filter by the cross-country series and you're looking for the green icons on the map. It doesn't matter if it's a sprint race or a circuit race, it's entirely up to you, but I'm gonna head over to the windmill cross country sprint. I've created a blueprint race called Easy Forzathon at just 0.6 miles long. There's the share code or just search my gamer tag skippy4631. Difficulty does not matter in the slightest, but we do need to win. So I'm gonna bring my difficulty down. There's no reason to make this any harder than it needs to be. Here we go then, this blueprint is so easy, it's unreal. Keep to the right hand side, they're all going to take a cheeky little left, but we're going to go straight on, and you can already see the finish line 400 yards away. Absolutely charged towards it, and across the line, first place, race number one, complete. And across the line, race number two, complete. And across the line, race number three, complete. And there we go, make your own road completed. With chapter two, make your own road completed, winning three cross country series events, it's on to chapter three, collateral damage. No time to stop and admire the scenery, it just gets in the way. Earn a wrecking ball skill in your off-road vehicle. For this chapter and chapter four, I'm gonna be heading over to the Greendale airstrip. Now one wrecking ball skill, this is fairly easy to do. We just need to get three wreckage skills in the same skill chain. So I'm just gonna drive up and down, the actual runway itself, knocking over these little bad boys, these little fences. Hopefully, we should get a wrecking ball skill pretty quickly and pretty easily here. He says, come on. That's just drifting, Skippy. Wreckage, side swipe. Pick it back the other way. Come on. Give me a wrecking ball skill. Awesome wreckage. Ultimate wreckage. There we go. Collateral damage. Completed. So just drive up and down, weaving your way through these little stick pylon things, and eventually you'll get a wrecking ball skill. With chapter three collateral damage completed, earning one wrecking ball skill, probably one of the easiest chapters I have ever done. It's on to chapter four, pull out all the stops. Time to go on a skill streak with your off road vehicle and bag a total of 750,000 skill score with it. Unfortunately, it's starting to get a little bit dark, but as always with these skill based challenges, I like to do it at the Glendale airstrip and I just like to hoon around, smashing and crashing my way about. We are looking for 150,000 times by five, and that is more than enough to get us to 750,000 skill score. You don't have to do it in one go, I just like to because it's a bit more fun that way. So I'll go ahead and get this done, and I'll see you at 750,000 points. So we've hit our 150,000 skill score target. Let this settle, and we should hit 750,000. Carte Blanche completed. So for chapter four, pull out all the stops completed. That concludes Carte Blanche, giving us 200 
fourth from points and 15% towards our summer season. The other 1% comes from a daily challenge that I completed as well. But let's go ahead and check out the fourth from the shop. Up for grabs this week, the first car is the 1965 Morris Mini Traveller worth 600 fourth from points. This car is a festival players exclusive, so if you don't have it, now is the time to grab it. And the second car is the 1994 Nissan Fairlady Z version S Twin Turbo, a very cool car, 400 forces on points, again another festival playlist exclusive car, so if you don't have this one, definitely be grabbing that. We also have the Regal Wave and the Ice Cream Van Carhorn, 100 forces on points each for those. And if you've got any spare forces on points knocking around, grab yourself a normal wheel spin for 40 forces on points, or a super wheel spin for 150 forces on points. Not a bad Forza Thon shop this week then. For the brand new players to Forza Horizon 4, you've got two festival players exclusive cars. The only thing it does do is bring the value down in the auction house. So there we go, guys. That's this week's Forza Thon challenges at Carte Blanche done and dusted. 15% towards the summer season, 4% towards the festival playlist, 200 Forza Thon points. Any questions? hit me up in the comments. Thank you all so much for watching. If you are new around here, definitely consider subscribing. We'll be completing the rest of the festival playlist in the next couple of days. We'll be getting the Showcase Remix done, the three PR stunts, seasonal championships, monthly rivals, and online adventure. Thanks for watching, and have an awesome day.